Hey, five babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your girl, Nika. If you are new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Push that post notification bell so you don't miss when we drop the new heat. And we're going to get right into it. We're about to use some products that I um, actually haven't used before or... Okay, it's like a mixture. Most of the products I have not used before. So I'm be kind of giving like a first impression type of ordeal at the same time. And then we got some oldie butter goodies in the collection or whatever. So I'm going to start by first putting my butters out of the way. Y'all see this long go here or whatever. Um, okay, so this primer is from no pore Belm. i don't even really use primers i've just moisturized and um <clears throat> do like my regular skin routine and then we do my foundation but we're gonna prime first of all i don't like how greasy it is um, yeah, no. It's super slimy. Ugh. I'm trying to see, like, you can't, yeah, you can see the grease. You see that? I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I'm gonna just let it sit here to see if it's going to absorb in the skin. If it doesn't, I'm going to wipe it off. I'm not about to play with that slimy type of stuff. I'm gonna just do my brows. Now with my brows, I need to go get a new brow pencil, so. I'm supposed, I don't know if I'm gonna add them to my collection, but this was one of mine, it's all out. I don't know, but we'll see. This I'm just using a powder. This was a, also gonna be added to my collection. Uh, I don't I think I will add the pencils over the powder to be honest but I know some people prefer powders over pencils so yeah also let me know which one do you prefer you prefer pencils or powder okay Got that one on, gonna finish the other one and I'll be back. So about that, okay. It settled in, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'm going to use the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Color. I got it in the shade W03. I'm pretty sure this is not my shade. It was on sale at this um, makeup store in my city. So I just was like, oh, let me just test it. At least I can figure out the formula, whatever, play with it. So don't judge me, judge your mama. Anyways, we gonna pump some out here. Hold on. Be having to wake it up a little bit. Hmm. I know it was a little bit oranger than what my uh than what I normally do. Squirt in a couple pumps of the white LA Pro mixing uh, pigment. Just to tone it down just a tad bit. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. So this is full coverage. I probably use too much. Okay. Hmm. Well, again. Yeah. Don't judge me. I put that all on my ear. <laughs> Ooh wee, this is super, super coverage. I will say that, uh, but lightweight at the same time. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to have a fragrance to it, but it most definitely kind of smells fragrancy. I told y'all this is not my color, so trust the process. 
I'm finna, I'm finna get this together. It's way too much on my face. Way too much, okay? Yikes. Got me over here looking like... Oof. A case of the going wrongs, okay? <laughs> but I told y'all, I just wanted to actually really test it out. Whew, baby. I'm glad it's not like... If y'all can really see what it looks like in person, baby, this camera making it look better than what it, the color actually do look like. I just added some more of the white um, pigment to tone it down some more. I think that's helping more because baby. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll be back. All right, so when I bought some, um, my powders from Ch Charlotte Tilbury, they gave me like some free samples and stuff. So I'm going to use the concealer, it's the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. It says it's full coverage, full coverage, long lasting, anti-dark circle color correcting concealer. So you wouldn't need to color correct first before using this, you could just go right in with it. So I'm going to actually use the shade <clears throat> I'm gonna use number four. Absolutely not, baby. It shows. Let's look at this. Look at what this shows right here. That does not look like. Mm -mm. We gonna go down to number seven and eight, cause obviously I'm gonna do seven first. Yeah, these ain't the right, baby. If they don't stop playing with themselves. Okay, so this is eight. Eight is medium. So eight is medium. Only thing I don't know is if this is waterproof. But it definitely is full coverage. And I can't really try it under both eyes because they don't give you enough. I didn't expect me to test it if I can't use it on both eyes. But I will say I love her, um, which I lost mine, so I'm kind of sad. But it's the airbrush finish um, powder. So I do have to buy me a new one. I have it in my makeup kit too. They're amazing. They're like just what the name says, flawless finish. And it's looking like I'm gonna be adding this concealer if it's waterproof. I like how it's covering. Look at how beautiful that looks. Filter baby, who? Let me see. And it comes in the tube like this. And she has 16 shades, magic away dark circles, blemishes, and imperfections with this magical illuminating youth booster and visibly smoothing concealer. Baby, is it, but is it waterproof? Can we get into this? Can we get into it? Okay. To brighten the under eye, I am gonna go in with shade six, just because it's a little lighter, I wanna brighten. Maybe they just thinking like you just supposed to test it. You over here trying to create a whole face with it, baby. Well, how else am I supposed to know how it wears? It says long lasting. I'm trying to cry and see if it works. Cause right now this is really, really pretty. Okay. So what I'm also going to do is because they gave me the darker shades too, I'm going to contour with it. So we have these two. I'm going to use maybe number 11. Let's see what this look like. 
so far i'm like really liking this nope i need to go darker okay we are going to go down to 14. now what i am going to say say this won't do i don't think this is going to do good with darker skin tones because they not if they showing up like this on me you know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't, these ain't dark. Time out. Mm-mm. No. This probably will not be kit friendly for me. the darkest shade that's left and I don't like how mm -mm. nope these dark shades is garbage that's that ashy ashy looking dark um like a ugh that gives you that muddy look. What's for that to say? It gives you that muddy look. I don't like it. Well, we're going to make it do. We're going to continue. We are going to continue. Okay. I will say, I'm loving how my face is looking with that Vanessa Myrix and this concealer. So then I'm just going to use my famous Black Radiance bronzer just to bronze up the face here. Alright, so then what we're going to take is this Tristique. This has a summer, well, summer glow and go. Waiting in the summer, but we still about to use it. So it has illuminator and um, a blush. So we're gonna start with the blush stick. It's in the color rose. None of these things, nope. It's not really best for my shade, my tone. Not liking it. It's not really it's not picking up what i'm putting down so eh. let me go ahead and set my under eye i really wish oh you know what let me use like i said i misplaced mine but i had hit pan so i'm just getting another one i'm gonna use the i think i use number two for the charlotte tilbury airbrush finished setting powder I'm gonna use my little puff. Make sure all those creases is out before we set it. Which it doesn't crease bad at all. Her stuff is kind of spinny, so I'm sure that uh, concealer is like 80 bucks. Because my powder comes in is uh, forty five dollars, but it's so worth it. I love this. Look how that under eye looks. Just flawless, flawless, baby, flawless, flawless, dwelling, flawless. What's all these other things? Shimmer and oh, there was an eyebrow pencil, a shadow crayon, blush, and a highlight. So let's try this highlight. So we'll see what it looks like on me. Because everything, yeah, this is kind of, oof, this is kind of teens. Teens. Let me try to put it on the skin. I'm scared to, though. Mm 
Nice for, oh shoot. <laughs> nice for under the brows, but that's not what I wanted to do. I was just trying to put it underneath the brow bone. Not all the way at the end. Oh, that's pretty. It's really like subtle. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the eyes. I'm going to use my eye primer. While I'm doing that, I'm going to use my lip scrubs in the strawberry. I'm gonna use the scrub first because my lips is kind of Eunice and TLC. Gonna let that sit. You can get these kits off of my site. Have them in strawberry, blue raspberry, and vanilla. Okay. So, on to the eyes. This eye primer, not even gonna lie, it's really good. I don't put anything over it to set it. I just go right in with the, the eyeshadow. And then we're gonna use this palette. Have not used it. This is, yeah, Barbarella. <laughs> this is in Barbarella. Oh, my nails kind of match this. I need my nails done, so don't mind. These are the shades here. It's a bunch of shimmers um, and two matte, four mattes. So we're gonna start with Oliver. We're gonna start with Johnny, this here. It's kind of just give an all over base. I got this in a BoxyCharm box. I have canceled my boxy charm i've canceled it for a while now i miss it i do but i had a box full of products that i don't use so i had to get rid of it now we're gonna go in there with oliver try my best not to just be you know collecting product that we're not using i'm getting way better at that We're gonna go in with cute, oh my gosh, the dark brown. So this is kind of chalky. Like I don't like how the pigment is over the palette when I pick it up, I don't know. And it's not giving what I'm putting down either. It's like, if you can see it, it's disappearing as I'm applying it. Eh -eh. Nope. Let's try a different brush. Maybe it's the brush. This is my Royal Land Nickel brush. Now, the last one was Wet and Wild. Not a fan. Nope. I'm going to take this color and Jason mix with Eddie. Eddie, we're just going to put this on the lid. Gonna apply my lashes in the style I Am Vibrant Joy. Can get these off my website as well.
I find it easier to apply lashes um, once you put the glue directly on your eye. It's the quickest. Then you can look down in your mirror. Boop. Boop, boop. I always need a tweezer, so let's see. Y'all know when I had got used to doing it without um, all these nails, I'll be now needing my tweezers again. And this glue works better in the black versus this white one. I don't know what it is, but it don't stick the same. All right, and then we're going to use this new mascara from Tarte in Lash Smoothie. It's from their Sugar Rush line. The vegan line, I believe it is. And I'm going to just wipe this lip scrub off my lips. And then I'm going to use the lip conditioner. This is my first time using this. Don't know what it's like. Let's see. I got glue all on my lashes, so. That was who it about. These bristles are really like together I've never used one like this so this is very hard I don't know it's like this it's like this but it's like it's very wide never used that before then once I do that I like to just squeeze my lashes together so that my real lashes are like connect so like my bottom lashes to get a lot longer they normally are way more than this that didn't do anything for my lashes at the bottom because i still feel like i don't have any so this is my morphe big lash but the only thing with this this is like clumpy now so over time it gets like that. I don't like that, but it is a good mascara. They're gonna have to figure something else out. There we go. Okay. I put out this lip in, it's a lip gloss in Toffee from Persona. This was in my box as well, Morphe box. Maybe I'll use this. Have not used this. This was also in the Morphe or my Morphe box. Um, boxy char. Ooh, this is pretty. I have not used this either. Very creamy. That's pretty. That's pretty. What shade is this in? Creamy Feel and Define Lip Liner in Crush. And this is a gloss, so. Actually, it was almost like the same shades. See how that worked out? And it smells really good. It smells like cappuccino. <laughs> Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Last but last, third. Last but not least, I'm going to use this Inglot liner that I forgot I had. And there you have it. This is the final look. Baby, we, I'm sorry. You got to get in closer. What? What? 
this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous anyways i know this was long if you enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe your girl is trying to come back we're gonna be showing new products we can be showing i don't even know what i'm gonna be showing but we're gonna be on here let me know what you would like to see in the comments below and again please like comment and subscribe so you don't miss when we drop the new heat once we upload until next time you know my motto arrive and leave your stamp bye